know, we know a lot. I know a lot of people on the East Coast. Well, today has been hard. I've been I texted a couple of folks earlier this morning before the storm actually hit. I'm not sure how they're doing right now, and so uh, I had a couple of texts wishing me luck before the storm actually hit because they wasn't sure they was gonna be able to use their cell phones and stuff like that. So hearts and prayers are going out to them right now because I know they're going through it. Oh yeah, without a doubt. Without I'm a doubt. I'm worried about them. I mean, come on, this is a freaking dance show. For yeah, goodness sakes. Yeah, this is a dance show. The end of the day, I mean, we're talking about people's lives exactly. that are in danger. Yeah. This is the least of our concern. We just want to make sure everyone is safe at the end of the day. Oh, and this is the last yeah. thing yeah. on my mind right now. Oh, it was a hot mess. <laughs> no, it was cool. It was a hot mess. Oh yeah, you gotta have fun, some way, shape, or form. So it was. I mean, we. We, we had a good time. It was okay. That wasn't fun at all. That was chaotic. That was chaotic. It was, it was hard to get organized. But at the end of the day, once we got to that place, the good thing about it is everybody was helping one another. That, helping one another. That's the blessing part about it. I mean, all the, the guy pros was working with all of the contestants and trying to make sure that we understood the work. That was the best part about it. But when you have everybody and having conversations here and somebody trying to teach you this and that, it was a little confusing. I have a lot of friends there in New York City right now, uh, not reachable most of the time. So here we are. Sorry, I'm late. <laughs> uh, not reachable. It's it's, uh, it's worrisome, but I know the people are smart and they have common sense. So don't stop. Don't don't, don't go say, oh, let's go let's go outside because if one electric pole falls down and still active, you die. So don't stay home and stay safe. Yeah, listen. I'm gonna make this story clear. I never chose my outfit. I only have to say yes, okay, are you sure we good with this? They wanted to replicate the uh, video. I just paid the price. I completely, with all my heart, disliked that costume. That is why you're seeing me like this right now. This That could be me any day. I, it's just uh, not that costume. Dude, my sister's actually out there right now in Manhattan. Um, she's sending me pictures outside the windows, and it's like dark, it's like a ghost town out there. And you know, it's it's. I was saying, of course, we're covering it so much because it's New York, of course. I mean, it's, it's wild to have such a crazy event happen. It's such a big city, but you know, it just reminds me of what the East Coast go through every year. You know, and, and it's amazing that they do this. We're so lucky out here because we don't really have any extreme weather. But the fact that they all come together and get through is amazing. I just wish them all the best out there. Uh, I do. I have a like really close family out there, so uh, they. Were, I called them this morning, and they were describing the winds and everything, and it doesn't even hit till nine tonight. But keeping them in our prayers. He's doing better. Um, it was pretty bad at the beginning of the week, and I think I was more just overwhelmed with the deja vu of everything I've already gone through than the pain of it. Um, considering my knee is what took me out of the Olympic run. It was, it was emotional, and I, I was terrified to relive that again. I came back here because I couldn't finish the Olympics, and then not being able to finish this because of the same reason crushed me. So it's getting better. So. Um, it's different. It's, a, it's like insert, it's random things, but as soon as I feel it, I mean, it's, it's like someone once like stabs me in the back of the knee. Our prayers with everybody. It's a, it's devastating to see anybody suffer. I know New Yorkers are gonna pull through and laugh about it tomorrow, but it's definitely no laughing matter. So it's stay safe. Hard because it's so unpredictable when someone says, "Oh, you may not be safe on the fourth floor." You may. Not. It's so weirdly unpredictable. I mean, I would have hightailed it inland, just and gone on a vacation or something. But I, everybody can't do that. And there's all those pets and all those people and. Uh, my entire family has evacuated the home and they are, right now they're in my uncle's house which is, is in a higher grounds. Uh, they're all safe. My, my uncle went and bought a couple of generators to make sure that they all got to watch Dancing with the Stars. I, in fact, yesterday I had a really long talk with my wife. I said, you know, worst comes to worst, I'll come home. And she said, no, we want you to keep entertaining, put smiles on people's faces. People need smiles in times like this. So that was the greatest advice she could have ever given me. And I keep checking periodically. The kids are just having a blast because they don't know what's happening. They probably don't know what's going on. They don't know what's happening. But what's great is that they're safe. This is what we were doing tonight, but it's such a small scale compared to what's going on in the world, you know? And 
there's a lot of people, Max and Val and all them, they have family and lives over on the East Coast. And so there was a little distraction, I think, among everybody because it's your family, you know, that's, that's, your, that's your blood. And if we could provide entertainment during a time like that, that's, that's great. But right now, I think there's so many more important things going on. Oh, it was fun. It was chaotic and I think it was a hot mess. None of us had really done the whole Define dance. fun. Because I'm a little confused on the fun part. <laughs> the solos, swear, nobody had done them full out to music with costumes on till tonight. And we were sitting out there going, is this a good idea? We've never done it in boots and belts and we we got hung up on it, but it is fun. You just have to laugh going, you know what? It's like we're all out here together. The pressure felt like it was off and uh, I'm, I love the times that we can all come together because we genuinely do have a good time. I have a lot of friends there in Midtown, right where that crane is, so I'm crossing my fingers. I haven't been able to talk to them yet, but uh, right after the show, my phone <laughs> is right out. here. So. And my very best friend and her family live there, and um, you know, I wasn't able to even talk to her. I usually talk to her right before the show starts on Mondays, before she, you know, goes live to New York, and I um, wasn't able to talk to her. And I'm just, I can't wait to get done with this so I can get on my phone and call her and just hear her voice, know that her and her family are okay. I have. I've been in touch. My parents are all right. My my close family is good and their safety is good so that, that's the only questions I really had time for and they're safe and I'm happy damage to property and businesses you know that's all secondary so that that we'll find out tomorrow we well, you know what we we definitely had we had some fight a little bit of fighting in us last week but uh, we got over it we talked about it and we both want to be the absolute best we can be for the show so I think, I think that show tonight, and I think that shows what our potential is at dancing together and how our chemistry is, and I think uh, we have a lot more in store. And to be honest, I think we needed, <laughs> we needed that fight. We do, because it's like... I think these Russians need a little bit of fighting. No, we need it because we, we, were, we got to that point where we weren't the getting through. With the water. Yeah, this is nice. <laughs> I'm taking that buckle away, by the way. Woo! All the man needs is his toys.